The next day, we head out before sunrise to try and avoid the paparazzi. Oh, my God, it's you again. Paparazzi, <laughs> stop it. When we arrive, they let us in a little early so we can get a few minutes of peace. <gasps> oh, my God. Welcome oh, wow. to the land of our ancestors. Let's go this is closer. even more staggeringly, look, staggeringly look, look. beautiful than I thought. <laughs> there aren't any words for it because you just think how. How did these people do it? Like, how did they find this place? You know, to see it, too, without anybody here? Yeah, yeah. Oh my. To be the first ones here today. Oh, my God. Known as the lost city of the Incas, Machu Picchu was built about 600 years ago and was a place of great spiritual significance for the Inca. <laughs> we climb a little higher to get a good spot to watch the sun come up. Wow. This is it. This is it. <laughs> There's no words for it. It's not even shamanism. It's not spirituality. You know? It just keeps getting brighter and brighter. As the sun rises, the trekkers who walk four days along the Incan Trail begin arriving. Cameron does not go unnoticed, but she's got a graceful way of dealing with it. But while the public is understanding, the press is unrelenting. Don't you have enough yet? Not enough? Like a little more. Oh, oh. Give me a second. No, no, no. Just ignore him. Don't let him, don't let him, you know, bum me out. I know, I know. Zen, we gotta Zen, Zen remember? Meditation. These people do not exist. He does not get my soul. Puma manages to lead us away from the paparazzi to the temples that are a strong part of his teachings. Whoa. Man, it's a good thing I'm skinny. Serious. Eh. Sacred four elements. The temple of the sacred earth, of the sacred fire, of the sacred water, and of the sacred air. Air is such a powerful element. But also we are contaminating it. You know? And yet, whether you contaminate it or not, air will continue keeping you alive. I've always had a connection to the earth and to knowing that that was what, you know, Puma stood for, that that was his teachings, that that's what he was putting out into the world. It's the, one of those things that goes, okay, that's why I'm here. When we come into this uh, temple, we realize how vital for our life is the water element. According to the oracles, it will be at a point where you cannot drink your oil when you're thirsty. You know? Wow. So you have to I respect this element. All life forms in our planet depend on these four elements. And that is why our ancestors used to be very respectful to these elements, because they are the very part that take care of ourselves. And they are the very part we are poisoning in our planet. It's about survival, really. So it's about refocusing the idea of what is important. You can live without your television. You can't you can't water. Before it gets too hot, we begin our climb to the top of the Pikachu. That's this big ass mountain. And the climb is no joke. It's long and steep. This is like the very edge. There's a drop of like 500 meters below us. We're going to walk to the rock. No, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> joke that hike. The altitude really kicks your ass. Take us to the top, Puma. Welcome to the top of the world. Of your mountain. We're up in Huayna Picchu, at the top of the young mountain, and this is the place of liberation. Feels good. I feel lighter. It really is true. You, like, leave everything behind as you come up. You know, got as you easier. Yeah. The, the walk got easier. 
as we went up. And here in Machu Picchu, we are in a very, very important place. A lot of people journey here. The gift goes beyond being physically here. It also means that in life, you have accomplished a lot. People arrive to Machu Picchu and never return the same way anymore. This is for real. For real.